While Starship sits in waiting, Falcon continues to carry the load for SpaceX. Starlink V2s are experiencing issues. And we finished with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. I'm not going to drag this out. SpaceX is pretty much wrapping up everything they need to do before Starship's orbital launch attempt. So I won't be reporting on much Starbase news until Ship 24 is stacked on Booster 7 and the FAA gives their blessing for liftoff. If you want to hear the play-by-play -play for all the behind-the-scenes Starbase activities, I recommend Lab Padre's channel. Okay. So that being said, let's talk about Starlink. We went live after last Friday's episode aired for the launch of another flock of 52 satellites to low Earth orbit from Slick 4 East at Vandenberg, California. The Falcon first stage flew for its eighth time, landing on the Of Course I Still Love You drone ship coasting in the Pacific Ocean. Then just moments ago, another flock of 56 Starlink satellites this time was taken up and released in the second heaven from Slick 40, Florida. This was the 10th mission for this booster, touching down on a shortfall of Gravitas in the Atlantic. Elon tweeted the other day that some of the recently orbited version 2 mini satellites are having issues, so they will be deorbited. Others will be tested thoroughly before raising altitude above the space station. This should not worry you. For one, they're not your satellites, but also because this kind of thing happened with the first Starlink mission several years ago, just working out the kinks. SpaceX completed a double header last Friday, actually, launching SES-18 and 19 to geosynchronous transfer orbit from Slick 40 that evening. The two C-band only communication satellites were released successfully, and the Falcon booster landed on just reading instructions for its sixth touchdown. So that's another three missions in a week, but provided there's no serious launch anomaly, SpaceX will deliver 80% of Earth's payload to orbit this year not counting Starship. Business is good, but some of you may have read a story from the information that was released a couple of days ago, alleging Morgan Stanley was organizing investors for the next funding round, and that a public investment fund from Saudi Arabia and an Abu Dhabi firm were looking to get in on the action. Because why not? Deals in the Middle East are hot right now. Unless you're Biden, of course. Burn. But Elon followed up early this morning, writing that this story was bogus. Just thought you should know. Now it's time for today's honorable mention. After two previous scrubs earlier this month, the third time was the charm for Relativity Space, when the US company launched their 3D printed rocket from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station on Wednesday night. Titled Good Luck, Have Fun, this maiden flight of Terran 1 was done with the intention to get the second stage into Earth orbit, but just getting through the point of ascent that applies the most stress on the vehicle was a major goal, and one that it sailed through successfully. However, just seconds after stage step, the upper stage vacuum engine sputtered out. I also want to down, this is the LD. There has been a T plus anomaly with stage two. LC, please begin anomaly procedure section 25. It's unknown at this time if Relativity will attempt another Terran 1 mission or just scrap the entire project to focus on the Terran R, their fully reusable 3D printed version of Starship. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for stopping by. Have a nominal weekend and Godspeed. Mm -hmm.